Hello, welcome. Today I'm going to be talking about my 148 scale VFA 32 FA 18 Super Hornet. Um, that is the squadron that I retired out of, VFA 32. Uh, I got the shirt on um, and uh, wore it specifically for this video. But uh, I'm going to show you some of the differences um, between uh, a couple of the Hornets, uh, some modifications, um, show you the airplane, talk about the build a little bit. So um, VFA 32 uh, has actually been around for quite some time, uh, just as a brief history here. Um, they uh, have flown F4s, they've flown F14s, and of course now they're flying Super Hornets. Their history goes back even further than that. Um, I am not a historian, so I'm not going to try and uh, go over all that in this video. But what I did want to talk to you about is I'm going to show you the difference between uh, two of my models that I have, and they're both VFA 32 um, F18 Super Hornets. One of them is a 172nd scale, the other one's a 148 scale. Now, not sure that everybody knows the whole scale uh, difference, um, but to break it down for you in, in real simple terms, um, the real airplane is a 1 1 scale. 172nd scale basically is one sixth of an inch equals one foot on the real aircraft. <clears throat> Excuse me. 148 scale is one quarter of an inch would equal one foot on the real aircraft. So therein lies the difference between the two scales and you could probably see that in this uh, size comparison that I have of these two models. Okay, so talking about these uh, two models real quick, um, I'm just showing you both of these. Uh, kind of give you an idea of the scale. Uh, remember I said in a previous video that the majority of my airplanes are 148 scale, which is this large one, but I do have this 172nd scale. Um, now both of these are Aircraft 100 from VFA 32. And as mentioned previously also in another video, my retirement flag was flown in the cockpit of this aircraft. Um, one of the reasons why I picked this uh, particular uh, aircraft uh, mainly for the fact because I was in the squadron, but uh, I could get the decal sheet for it and that's what I wanted. And that's what I've got up here on the computer actually. This is a decal sheet that I had ordered. Um, it's from Fighter Town Decals and uh, so that's where the decals for this actual build came from. This is a Revell model kit, the 148 scale. Uh, honestly I don't remember where I got the decals for the 172nd scale. Um, I built that one thinking that that was the only one I could find in the VFA 32 uh, color scheme. And then of course I happened to stumble across this one and because I wanted 148 scale aircraft in my collection. This uh, really fit what I was looking for. So I went ahead and built that one as well. So let's focus on the 148 scale and uh, kind of talk about it a little bit more in depth here. So this is the box cover for the uh, 148 scale Revell model. These are the instructions that were used. And this is what the kit looked like when it was first opened. Uh, started putting the nose together. This is the main body starting to go together, the cockpit starting to go together. Uh, the two body halves, the intakes, of course my workbench. Uh, once I got the cockpit put together, some of the detail work. It's a shame that that was covered up by putting the canopy on. And more work on the intakes, getting ready to apply the filler. I did quite a bit of filling on this airplane quite a bit of sanding involved in it. You can see the filler along the wing tips and the fuselage halves. But it all come together starting to look like an airplane here. Uh, putting the wings on it. Uh, this is putting the vents on the top. This was a mod that I did. I also modded the tires so that they actually look like they have weight on them. Uh, this is after the landing gear was installed. You see the intakes. 
I'd actually change the intakes uh, so it has an inlet device like the real airplane does. But this is after the first coat of paint. Um, starting to do final assemblies now. Getting it all together is really starting to look like a Super Hornet. Sitting on its own wheels. And uh, as you can see it's really starting to come together here. Got the wing stations put on. The canopies ready to go on. So just about ready for decals in this shot and uh, just about ready to wrap this one up and then the final product I was really really happy with the outcome of this one really looks good so a minute ago I showed you the difference between a 170 second scale and a 148 scale model what I want to show you here um, this is closest to the camera the VFA 32 148 scale F18F. It is a twin seat aircraft. This is an F18 Bravo. Uh, this is what they call a legacy Hornet, uh, not a Super Hornet, but it is a two seat aircraft also. Um, now I put the two of these together side by side because these are both 148 scale models. I wanted to show you the difference in size between the regular Hornet and the Super Hornet. Hopefully you can uh, make out the differences between the two. You see that the leading edge extension on the Super Hornet is much larger, uh, a little bit more rounded, whereas on the Hornet it was rather scalloped. Uh, the wing is larger, uh, the tail planes were larger. Uh, basically it was a larger aircraft by they say about 20 percent. I, I would say probably uh, 18 to 20 percent uh, much larger difference um, but yeah totally different aircraft so uh, just wanted to show that to you real quick and uh, let everybody kind of get a size comparison on those okay so there you have it uh, Revell 148 scale Super Hornet FA 18 F with VFA 32 markings uh, decal sheet from fighter town decals uh, Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them down at the bottom. And uh, thanks for watching. See you again real soon. Bye.